Hey guys, today we are going to show you how you can set up Magic Link authentication with WeWeb and Subabase. My name is Sanje and I'm the CEO at Calda. Calda is a low code agency which is certified with Subabase, WeWeb and Flutterflow. So let's say you have an app and you want to or need to authenticate your users and you don't want to use the old and boring option with email and password and you want to spice things up a bit. In that case, using Magic Link is a great option for you. And today we're going to show you how you can do that with WeWeb and Superbase. So let's get started. So first things first, uh, obviously we should first create a new Superbase project, which we already did. And as you can see, we are already inside it. The next step would be to navigate to the authentication tab and provide email provider, um, I'm sorry, and enable email provider for the authentication process. As we can see, this is already um, enabled, but if it, if it isn't, make sure that um, you do it. The next thing is that we can go to the email template section and here select the magic link tab. And now Superbase allows us to customize the message um, that the users receive through email once they require to get the uh, magic link. And here you can say anything you want. You can edit the HTML body however you want to. Um, just make sure to keep this part as it's essential um, to actually get the, the URL. Uh, the next step would be enabling the users to actually um, sign up through Superbase project. So we go to the project settings and navigate to the authentication tab on the left side menu. And here, the user signups option should be enabled. And then if you sc scroll down, we can see that we can set up the SMTP, custom SMTP settings. Now, this step is only needed once you go live with your app. So if you're just trying to test this feature for now, you can skip it. If you want to, to set up the custom SMTP provider, uh, then make sure to go to the link in our description uh, for step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, awesome. Now we're done with the Superbase part and we can start working on the WeWeb part. Now we have to navigate to our WeWeb project. In our WeWeb project, we have to have three main pages. One is a login page. The other one is a page where we have to inform the user that they received the magic link to their email. And then the third page is the one that we navigate the users after they click on the magic link. Um, so if we go back to our login page, as you can see, we have um, two components. One is an email input and the other one is a submit button. And both of them have to be inside a form container. So make sure to, to structure this page correctly. Um, the second page, as I said, is the one we, where we inform our users that they received the magic link to their email. So it's a very simple page with just some text on it. And then the third page is the one where we navigate users once they clicked on once they click on the magic link. Here we have multiple options. The one that we use most regularly is the one where we um, redirect them to a page which says something like success, successfully authenticated. And then we set up a, an automatic redirect after a couple of seconds to the main page. So here you have all the freedom to choose what page you want to navigate your users to. Um, de depending on your flow in, in your app. So uh, once we have all, all of these three pages, uh, we should set up Superbase authentication in WeWeb. We go in the top menu bar, we go to the uh, plugins section and then under categ categories, select authentication. Now we should select Superbase authentication and add it. Here in the configura configuration section, we have to have three different things, things as you can see. One is the project URL, the other one is public API key, and the third one is private API key. So we go back to Superbase, we go to the project settings, and then API, and get all this free information. So the one, the first one is URL, we copy it and paste it. The other one is public API key, which we also copy and paste. And then the third one is a private API key, which we also copy and paste. 
okay right so we can continue and then at this step we have to define where to navigate users if they're not signed in yet so here we have to select a login page so that anybody that isn't authenticated yet they have to first be prompted to to create an account again continue for now we're gonna skip the role tables continue and that's it for this step so the next step would be to define what happens after the user clicks on the submit button on the login page so we have to navigate to our form where we have the submit button and as you can see on the right on the right hand menu we have the workflow section and we have to create a new one on submit we have to define a new action and we can search for magic link because it's already a built-in option on WeWeb. Uh, the next step would then be to navigate to the email input and under variables select email value. So after that we have to define the page where we want to navigate the user after they clicked on the magic link they received in their email. So we have to define a page where we are redirecting them to. In our case, this would be welcome success. For a better user experience, we can add another action which allows us to navigate users to the page where we let them know that they received the magic link after they clicked on the submit button on the form. So we can go add a new action and change page and select on the page editor welcome check email great we are almost done we just need to configure urls so everything will work as it should so let's get back to subabase and click on the authentication tab and then navigate to url configuration here, as you can see, we have to define the site URL. For the site URL, we will add a link to our login page as this is our default page in WeWeb. In our case, we will use the editor link, but if you have your app in the production or staging phase, then use that link. So let's get back to WeWeb and then go to the login page. And obviously on the top, we have to copy and then paste the link to our super base and save. So the re redirect URLs are the wildcards that the authentication providers are allowed to redirect post authenticating. Use the same link, but at the end, add the slash and asterisk symbol. So let's add, again, paste, slash and asterisk and add URL. And now, we should be ready to test it. Once we set everything up, we are able to test the flow out. We go to the preview option and enter our, e our email. I'm gonna select my email and send it. And as you can see, we are successfully redirected to the page where we are informed to check our email uh, for a magic link. Now, as you can see, we also successfully got the email and we have the magic link because this is a testing link. We have to copy it and input it in our new tab. And now we wait for the magic. And as you can see, we are successfully redirected to the successfully authenticated tab. Right, so this is a fairly simple process on how to set up magic link authentication with WeWeb and Subabase. Make sure to follow our channel for more tips and tricks on the best low-code platforms like WeWeb, Flutterflow and Subabase. Thank you for watching and see you soon.